I tell you what, mm -hmm. if I win this hand, you have to go on a date with me. If I win the hand, I get to host the TV show tonight. I'm a really big Rob Riggle fan, but I think the risk is worth it, so I'm all in. Okay, I call. What do you have? I have kings. I have aces. Ah. Uh. <laughs> have fun hosting my show! Live from the Gardens Casino in Los Angeles, it's Poker Night Live Hollywood Home Game. Tonight, it's Rob Riggle's celebrity friends with superstar Rob Riggle, from splitting up together Oliver Hudson, the new girls Jake Johnson, from Silicon Valley, Haley Joel Osment, Prison Break Samari Nalasco, and I'm Tiffany Michelle, your guest host for the evening from here at the Gardens Casino. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Poker Night Live from here at the Gardens. It looks like I've played my cards right, and now I get to guest host tonight's game and hobnob with some of Hollywood's hottest stars. In all my years of playing poker, I'm not sure I've ever sat at a table full of men who look and smell this good. <laughs> Lucky me. As usual, our commentator, Jesse Abramowitz, is in the booth. Say hello, Jesse. Baba Booey. Huh? <laughs> Although Jesse can see all of our whole cards, here at the table, we can't hear him. He's muted, like most of my exes on Twitter. <laughs> Tonight, we're playing No Limit Texas Hold'em. Everyone's bought in for a friendly $500. The blinds are 5-5, five, five, and that's about all you need to know. Let's play some poker. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Hollywood's biggest star is Rob. That's you. I mean, that's superstar. Star, Rob. That. Star, Rob. Super star. We smell good, too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I heard superstar. So, do I get Actions on you. Else? I agree. Okay. Superstar, Rob. Um, um, let's do this. I call. I call. See, everyone gets nervous Raised in the first hand. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I'm next to superstar, Rob Riggle. I call. I call. So looks like we've I got some limps and now a raise, and everyone's going to call. Oh, We're going to go nice. five ways to the flop. Game. This was almost a family pot family without pot, Haley. Almost, without <laughs> Haley. <laughs> Refuse to go with the spirit of the game. Check. 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 Go 20. Why do I feel like Jake's the ringer? You brought yeah. in like that. No. He just likes to establish dominance early. <laughs> I heard not Superstar only, and it weirded me out. Not only in, po <laughs> not only in poker. <laughs> He's a very dominant <laughs> My day to day yeah, life. Day to day, is, yeah. you know. That's how I would be described in my I personal fall. life. Very right. dominant. Right. He, he likes to establish yeah, dominance. Yeah, oh. That, yeah. that bet wow. will get through. First pot over to Jake Johnson. See what happens? I remember that, Jake. <laughs> King Jack. Right. So I'm taking, this is all this is early stages. I'm just taking it all in. No, I know. Just taking well, it all in. Well, you're, you're, reads, you're, you're a reader. This reading. is what you do. What well, will you do the I'll rest of us? I'll read until there's only about five chips left. Right, right. And just then that's when I spring, like a cobra. <laughs> Will it you takes a long read. tell us at the table about your celebrity friends? Like, give us the inside dish so we know how to play people like Jake. Jake's easy. Uh, all you need is a Jack Four to open against Jake. <laughs> Why Jack Four? Because <laughs> it's, it's the hand that if you win on, with a Jack Four against Jake, you'll put him on tilt so fast. Uh, we shot a movie together in New Orleans, and we would quite often not have to work certain days, and. The superstars weren't in every scene. <laughs> Imagine that. So we would uh, we would go to the casino mm -hmm. that was right down there mm -hmm. in the quarter, and we would gamble all day. We'd play poker, and we didn't take long before the Jack Fours of the world. That's <laughs> what we it, called them. The Jack Fours. It out. Started to you know beat. Yeah. Well, Jake. you would have a good hand. You'd, you'd have a great hand. So and I would then Jack Fours and beat him, That's and he would lose you. his mind. <laughs> it wasn't pretty. Anyway, well, Jack Four. Only a jerk would play that. <laughs> <laughs> I fold. Ah, oh, you did. You got there first. Got there I was first. waiting for you to do it. Yeah, sir. 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 I fold as well. And B two. Oh, I checked. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Well, lines check You guys all live in Los Angeles. To the flop. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Have any of you I been? I lived in Colorado for a year and a half. We're in Colorado. Just outside of Aspen. Check. You know Carbondale? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. I grew up there. I grew up there, like, second, third, fourth grade. I went to school there. Oh, cool. and, yeah. oh. A good friend of mine just moved there with his family and loves it. It's, he left L.A. for it. It's the, the best. I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have come back, but I had to do this 
show. I was, we, we wanted to just stay there. Oh, so I loved cool. it so much. This show or a different show? You came back from this Colorado show, to be yeah. with us tonight. I moved the entire family back just <laughs> that for was so generous. Generous. Two hours of poker. <laughs> That's right, you guys. My so kids are like, Dad, I don't understand. Like, don't like, talk. Dad, I don't ask you questions. Dad, you're like, making bad life choices. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we have to move? <laughs> How much money do you have to make tonight to justify $500 <laughs> move from Colorado? Uh, how beautiful is Colorado? <laughs> it's the greatest, man. And it's great for the kids, too. There's freedom, you know? <laughs> Wriggle under the gun with Queen 10. Jack me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll jump in there. Go 15. Oh. Ooh. This kid. Wow. I fold. Jake Johnson bumps it up to 15 with these five suits. Never limps in. Call. <laughs> you know. I'll call. Yeah. <laughs> Old Jake never limps in. Old Jake never limps in. I'll call yes, my buddy. That is your name. So you're a professional player? Yes. How did you become a pro? You had to tell everyone at the table you have to be. <laughs> sorry, some, sorry. I was trying I'm excited to, about it. I was you trying to let some people, some people, I wanted them just to think I was filling in as a guest host for the night, but now you've just blown my cover, Jake. Sorry. I'm a pro. Yeah. We actually have some um, play for money. If you, World if you win Series. Money, and you're a makes pro. you a pro, right? Uh, 30. We, you and I both share a World Series infamy. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. First hand of the World Series. Really? Knocked out. What? Sammy Farha. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna. Oh yeah, you go Google Oliver Hudson World Series of Poker. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most horrendous moment of my entire oh my life. God. Oh yeah, I had a little baggie of lunch, sunglasses, hat. I was ready to go, and I was at the featured table. Yes, oh, because I had no. Dana, I had Dana Gunn and Sammy Farha playing. We're gonna talk. We're gonna talk about that later. Okay. We we have a, a uh, bit oh. to show later about that. Oh, we do. Okay. Yeah. Good. Don't oh, spoil. Really don't spoil it with the bad beat. Thirty bucks while Tiffany has been thirty. Normally, the top pair back for spades. Call me. And I think it's a compliment, but I don't know. Is a calling station? Yeah. Is what they call it? Yeah. What is that? <laughs> but I'm going to walk That's away from this. That's the opposite of that. <laughs> a calling station. Okay. What did you uh, shoot in New Orleans? We shot 21 Jump Street, man. Well, that was in New Orleans? It's like Oliver's going to. You guys shot in Puerto Rico, too. Put out a call uh, with fold. bottom pair, backdoor hearts. Did they do um, and, uh, which part? I, I think, I don't, I don't know if it was the first 21 Jump Street. 22nd. 22nd, yeah. It was 22. Yeah. That casino Which I was also in, but I was not in that portion. I was stuck in prison. Okay. With uh, when you pulled you, your mic is cut. <laughs> the, that Oliver Harris turned turn his hand into a bluff here on the turn. Okay, I call. I forgot. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be a calling station, this Rob. Get <laughs> that casino saved Tiffany Rob. Makes the call yeah. at top. We were there. down there. Was trying to make something. Three weeks, exciting. but not a lot to do. Okay. It's not because it you have a name. so many plastic grenades you can throw in that peach basket. <laughs> That's right. Bar. I'm going to make something <laughs> exciting happen, and I'm going to bet 60. Both the players in the river, two pair. No, he doesn't have to remember well, that. Well, you guys know each other, so what am I saying? All right, Oliver. <clears throat> I'm going to call. You're either going to, you either have two pair or I win. I have two pair. Let's see the two pair. Yeah. Oh. I got there on the turn. You have me. Oh! I thought you had a, that's kind of nasty that you got there with that two pair. <laughs> See what I thought you it was beating an ace. Three. I did, because I, I didn't pair. think she had an ace. I, I know, but you got oh. mad at the end. Yeah, wow. wow. Oh, you bet out with the three. The, the, the line. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, what did you bet again? 60. 60. Look at that. That's the first healthy pot of the night. Yes, this yeah. is definitely, I can already that's tell, going to be one of the most action games that we've had, like just based on like Razor McGee over here. Why does everybody play tight? I, I feel like not. people play a little hesitant. And just like Jake's just like, Oliver's betting 50 Whoa. and Jake's like raising every well, how, how, how long is the show? <laughs> yeah, it's two hours. We have two hours. I'm looking to be broke in 45 minutes. So I don't know. <laughs> After that, you guys are on your own. I'm going to rip my shirt off, say something mean to Rob, and take off. Well, look, I'm, I'm well on my way. <laughs> you mean just so, I, hey. I'll, I will catch you in that category. <laughs> <laughs> it's a race to the bottom, baby. <laughs> you, in other words, just a typical night. Life. 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 <laughs> Thank you. So it seems like all of you guys know each other. So why, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm the friends. rookie here. Yeah, well, uh, this is the first time I've met you. Yeah, I'm, great, the first time I've met everyone except mm -hmm. Tiffany. I am so. very fortunate that, uh, and, and Tiffany, but I am very fortunate to know everybody else at the table. Mm -hmm. uh, Haley and I have worked together. Haley, uh, also a Dodger fan, and also oh. came to my charity event in Kansas City. Beautiful. Ooh. What's a charity event? Speaking for? of that, speaking yeah. of that, one thing that I've always found that celebrities and poker players have in common is a charitable nature and using their time and talent mm -hmm. to give back. You have a charity event that I would love for you to tell our friends that you sure. have coming up. Sure. It's a, a, an event that I do in Kansas City for Children's Mercy Hospital. It's called Beautiful. the Big Slick. Because when we started it, it was a poker tournament. Oh. So, Big Slick, you know. Ace King, um, and then uh, then I'm got, sorry, uh, I fold. Missouri 
Gaming Commission, I guess, made it kind of tough on us to do that. So we changed it up. Now it's a bowling tournament, but we play softball and nice. um, and everything. But we still play poker at night. JR, can we get the info of that up on the uh, up on the screen? And so far, Jake and Haley have both been to the Big Slick. So we'll have to get you guys out to the I Big Slick. I would love to. Event. And yeah, the dates of that are June 1st and 2nd in Kansas City. And even if you can't attend, you can participate by donating at BigSlickKC.org. Cool. Yes, and, I, it's a, and it's a great weekend. I do it with Paul Rudd, Jason Sudeikis, uh, Eric Stone Street, and Dave Keckner, all Kansas City guys. Wow. So we'll go home and, it's all awesome. and we'll be providing more information about that at the end of the show. Uh, we have to take a break right now. Which would be a great time to go to BigSlickKC.org, right, Rob? Yep. We're coming back after this. Poker Night Live is brought to you by our trusted friend, Kimo Sabi Mezcal. Why settle for tequila? Step up to Kimo Sabi. My uh, first experience getting hired for any job, uh, I was just picked out walking through Ikea with my mom. They had a casting desk there and they were taking Polaroids of kids, which is something I don't think they would allow today. Um, but I got, my photo got picked off a pile and that's how I got my first commercial, which led to other things. Uh, Rob and I have uh, played golf together a couple times and I just worked on his new show for Crackle, uh, Rob Riggle's Jet Ski Masters Academy, which we were shooting in Malibu, which is gonna be a really funny show. I'm definitely uh, wary of, of Riggle. He's a, he's a pretty strong competitor in a lot of categories, so I'll be watching out for him. Welcome back to Poker Night Live here at the Gardens <laughs> Casino. I'm Tiffany Michelle, filling in as host for tonight's all-star Hollywood home game, spearheaded by film and television superstar Rob Ooh. Riggle. Again, superstar. Her words, not mine. Her words, not mine. Yeah, but it's Amy. in the telephone. Somebody wrote it. Your contractual <laughs> words, pal. The action is on you, Haley. All right. I fold. <laughs> <laughs> I fold. Yeah. And I fold. Jake, if it makes you feel better, I'll call you Jake Johnson Superstar. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not giving you anything. I'll go 15 on top. Yeah. Okay. No and call. I feel nervous! <laughs> She's a professional. Jake Johnson, two tens, raising out of the bit. So are you, though. I'm yeah, not. you kind of used to you, be a grinder. Yeah. Uh, yes, but I'm still a grinder. You, you played at this property when it used to be a tent, right? I did, actually. When it was a tent? It was 15. a tent. Holy boat. So this Tell used them about to be, the old days. The, this place used to be tented in a parking lot, and this was a very scary place to play cards. <laughs> <laughs> I worked for a company that, uh, let's go 20. Just quads. I worked for a company where I was at all the table games, so. What does that she mean? She doesn't hesitate. I know. You see that? <laughs> terrifying. You see that? Mean? I mean, she was. <laughs> was it outdoors? What does I worked for a company Wait, that... I want to see this. Let's go forward. He's a... trying to focus. He can't talk and focus at the same time. Do you have a 10 or a 7, Jake? <laughs> Do you guys believe him? No. All <laughs> no? of the above. I think he has ace, queen. Oh. Wow. I would play the board. Oh, yeah. Can I get another one? Let right. you. You don't believe in showing women no. hands you beat no, them with? You don't believe in showing so women? Wait, Wait, not in today's age. Not no, today, yeah, no, no, you can't show. Shivery's gone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those days are gone. That's how you know Jake Johnson so plays poker. He does not even show quads. And, and it was a very scary place to play cards. Um, and then that's where I thought we were coming when I heard Hawaiian Gardens, and I was like, Riggle's doing a show at the gardens? And when I pulled up and saw what this was, yeah. I realized I was a tad underdressed. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, You're the this big blind dollar. This is nice. It is. They There's did a, a $90 million dollar renovation, like and yeah. now it's really nice. million. Wait, we're here. That's yeah. crazy. And now Why it's not a tent well, anymore. Yeah, five. No, I'm not. not at all. I could also straddle. the pepper stay. Haley, I feel like you're not going to be able to get a word in edgewise with these. Well, I'm all the way down at the edge over here, but it's <laughs> nice to look at all of you. <laughs> <laughs> um, although you have potentially some more clout than the rest of the guys at this table, because a few of these guys have been nominated for a Teen Choice Award, but you've actually won a Teen Choice oh, Award, I was right? nominated for a Teen Choice yeah, Award. That's right, you won. Right. Uh -huh. oh, the feeling of the Teen Choice uh. <laughs> What did you do with a surfboard? Just to be nominated. Just it's to be nominated. Somewhere. Um. Jake, you've been nominated for a Teen Choice, but you've never won, right? I didn't realize I was nominated for a Teen Choice. <laughs> you never knew that? <laughs> you were. I Googled it. 
Kaylee's won one before, so if you want to ask him about how to go about winning a Teen Choice. How do you win a Teen Choice? Uh, well, this man really was nominated for way. an Oscar. Yeah. You have well, the campaign, too. you got to go to all the high schools, which is easier when you are in high school. It's not weird. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, did you hear about this movie? <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants to see <laughs> this guy in a high school. <laughs> <laughs> you show up at high school, that would actually be awesome. Hey, I'm nominated for an award. <laughs> so, Get out of here. It's on your face. <laughs> Where are we at? That's 20 on you. But more impressive awards, that. you lost an Academy Award to Michael Caine. Do you hate him a little bit? Ooh. No, I was uh, almost better losing to him than it would have been to win it. And then we got to work together the following year on Secondhand Lions. So, yeah, he's well, that's a right, yeah. guy. And somebody who on set is very generous with just sitting by the camera and talking about all the stuff he's seen in his life. I mean, cool. the, he cool. is one of the most amazing actors of all time. Oh, yeah. And for you to get that opportunity, what a cool deal. It was amazing. Yeah, and he would even talk about, like, he, he served in the, uh, the Korean war talking about going there as like a 19 year old passing through some island i forget where the stopover was and meeting americans they go where are you guys going vietnam where's that where are you going korea where's that like that being at that point in history yeah and like, oh, that's cool incredible. Wow. yeah Haley was um um and I, I apologize for it um was the sixth sense your first movie uh, second, I believe. Your second. But no, uh, Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump, yeah, that was Forrest, that's one. right, that's yeah. right. That's Please right. refer to Oliver for uh, the credit yeah, that I have Haley his, has. I know his... <laughs> you were so recipe. good in that movie. <laughs> Thank you. Such a great performance. I saw Amazing. it again, like, on TV recently, and I'm like, Jesus, this kid kills it. I know. <laughs> if you're in for five minutes, you're in for the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can't yeah. stop. It's a great movie, can't great stop. performances. It's, and it's wild, because I don't think a movie like that would do the same things today, because it was, to. people couldn't spoil it as easily. Yeah, that's right. Like, that's really you're interesting. You're absolutely right. In, like, yeah. you know, months before it even came How out. How old were right. you? Um, I um, <clears throat> was 10, I believe. Okay. You're, Check. Oh, yeah, sure. That. I checked to you, too. Yeah, 1998. 15. 20 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Dang, man. Well, well done, sir. Well done. Thank sir. you. Also, uh, Haley, great golfer. <laughs> uh, we, we were just He's talking about that. Yeah. yeah, he plays yeah, well. Yeah, really All right, we want to play. play. Thanks, yeah. Rob. So here's the thing. I, I was always told Thanks, buddy. if you're... Uh... <laughs> yeah, because you said you guys were golfing buddies. Actually, no, I only shot a 66 the other day. I mean, that's it. I, got, I, I do have... I, Wait, are we play, I, for I, the record, he is... Uh, Oliver is a <laughs> tremendous golfer as well. But hold on. Are we talking about uh, Game Boy um, No, we're talking about legit or... real golf. He gets out there. 66? He takes his three bills off the tee. I was eight under through 15 and bogeyed 16 and 17. That's amazing. Is an eight going to win again here? Yeah, oh, no, Haley. Wow, you're really So they go to showdown. Haley's ace-queen is the winner. Was 76, but you played that pretty conservative. Wow. You were worried about the king there? Anybody who plays sub at all. No, no, listen. I, there's, I was just telling Haley that if your man. handicap is, I mean, <laughs> if your handicap like is low, it's because you're better. not working enough. Yeah. So, you know, it's Exactly, that's what it is. I'd rather have my handicap high. And yeah, work a little bit more, I went but. through a bit of a dry spell. Yeah. Well, I've seen Oliver. Hit, <laughs> he hits it like the pros do. He hits it about three, three mils off the tee. Wow! Like without without effort, which yeah. is obnoxious. Would you guys ever golf for money? Not against him, unless he gave me yeah. a yeah. Against twenty strokes. Twenty yeah, strokes. That's the beauty of the game of golf is anyone can compete because yeah. of the handicaps. You, yeah. you yeah. can do whatever. You know, it's it's a blast. Yeah. Um, I just was playing with Wait, Ken you. Griffey Jr. Are you in the Jeter's tournament oh, yeah. last weekend. That was a incredible four hours. He like, beats the ball, doesn't he? Who? It doesn't sound Griffey. like a golf thing. It goes like bonk, and yeah. then it goes 400 like, yeah. yards. Well, yeah, ball player. Who? Ken Ken Jr. Jr. Yeah, but that's yeah. the thing. Ball players yeah. have this thing. I mean, it's they just the release, play. so they know how to... Oh, boy. So we have to wait to hear this story. About You're just sitting here dying. He's like, I need to it hear. It was a heck of a seven. World Series. I know. I didn't realize I was. We have a clip that we're going to oh, show about uh, <laughs> why Oliver is famous, aside from. <laughs> uh, this TV is pretty much gigs. it. That's he's the reason I call. Poker World. All right, five your golf game handed room? to the flop. I'm a 12 handicap. Oh, it needs that's, a little, that's little room. Yeah. It needs a little room. For is this a straddle? Did you straddle? No, no. Sure. What's your weakness? The mental side. Check. Check. Sure. Check. That's you got all the doing. physical You're tools. You're trying to put me on tilt before what I is finish it? this hand. You're not you even just, in this hand. You just see the ball and everything freaks out a little bit. I get, yeah, I get a little sweaty. I get a little nervous. <laughs> what? Ah. He wants to know my, why my golf game is so rough. I uh, call and I race. In between the ears. That's your right one time. <laughs> so Haley I'm out. bets and Alaska yeah. calls and raises, I believe, to he doesn't $30 like, uh, for Queen 5. Man. 
Uh, <laughs> one of my veins. Uh, no friends. Like he, isol- he silos himself off. Check. Isolates. A lot of isolation with this. Deuce well, there's a lot of great turn. Well, I think I called him to join us. No, today, I know. Is, so I you get, him, get him out of the house a little bit. I didn't realize that this was Check. your night. I, I would never have come if I knew that. <laughs> oh, that's a hard pass then. <laughs> no. They didn't sell it to us as the Rob Riggle night. I did not know. I didn't know he was going to be here until no, I showed once up. it all happens, it's like, just, Rob Riggle, the superstar of all time, is invited his best buddies. I'm like, I didn't Rob didn't call me. I, mean, <laughs> I haven't heard from Rob for about six years. I put your names on a short list. <laughs> <laughs> then the network had to approve you guys. Well, you guys are the only ones that got approved. I lucked out. I lucked out on getting to host on this night because you guys, um, no offense to our past games, but this might be a a little more hilarious than some of the games that we've had. I'm endless laughing. And this is the point in the show where I would normally throw it to our host. uh, Our our host would normally throw it to me on the sideline so that I could throw it a break. But since I'm sitting here hosting, I now just have to throw us to break. Take it away, (laughs) Tiffany. Poker Night Live is brought to you by Sit and Go 2.0. Go to Sit and Go 20.net to claim your free Sit and Go 2.0 strategy ebook. I played as a kid. My mother used to be a professional card player. So as a young man, my mom was great at cards and still is. How would I rate Rob Riggle as a poker player? Uh, he would be, if he were a poker hand. Rob Riggle's a Jack Four off suit. He's a hand that you just muck. Garbage. He's trash. <laughs> He's a trash man. He's a garbage man. I guarantee he loses tonight. He's gonna be in a nice suit. He's gonna right now he's getting his makeup done. He's gonna come out here looking terrible. He's a very ugly trash man. Welcome back to Poker Night Live, Hollywood home game from the Gardens Casino here in Los Angeles. You can see we're having a fun time, and Jesse Abramowitz is the voice that you can hear providing commentary. Say something, Jesse. Thanks, Tiffany. We can't actually hear him here at the table because he can see the whole card, so I have no clue what he said, but I do know that the action is on superstar Jake Johnson. Oh, he got superstar. I decided to, you know. I decided <laughs> he, to, he was happened. he complained enough. We can edit you that have out the later. you have the option. That's why they actually oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your first time playing cards? Yes. Yeah. So we can edit that I out. feel very so nervous and excited to be here. So Thank there's you. a man behind the curtain who's judging how we're playing right now. So when I just lost to he's probably just <laughs> kicking my ass exactly. like this guy's an idiot. He called me a man. <laughs> yeah. Great. Stay humble. <laughs> stay humble. Stay stay humble. It's it's to for the people at home so they can watch what you do and then Jesse tells them how not to do that. Okay, this is good. Check. Watch what happens now. Yeah, go ahead. Now <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch it. Ooh. And if your sound goes out for a second, I'm that's nice because three. someone has dropped a curse word. So you will hear about eight seconds of silence, and then audio comes back. Just a heads up, some inside baseball. The truth entirely. I'm right holding. Show will you show? Will you show? Oh, no. he for sure. Uh, I'll show you one. It's, Can we pick the one? <laughs> okay. Yeah. And the king? No, no. I'll show you my king. All right. Show me your king. Woo. This one's from a movie. So Look at that, Jake just raked a fat stack. <laughs> <laughs> you said it wouldn't be king? You said it wasn't going to happen? I didn't think it was going to happen. You didn't think it was going to happen? But it happened. You even came in. You came in hot I tonight. Did. And you were in my face saying it's never going to happen. It's not going to happen for Jake, you. So you're from Chicago? Yeah. Love That's your it. city, brother. It's a I, uh, I had an opportunity to shoot a show there. I shot in um, Joliet Prison. Oh, no oh, way. Man. Cool. That's Elliot a, Jake. Remember that movie, uh, Blues, Brothers. Brothers. Blues Brothers? Yeah, of That's course, where it works. man. So, but I love Chicago. Chi-Town. Yeah. Chicago is Amazing awesome. city. Amazing. It's a, it's a Amari, lot of fun. if this table was your prison crew <laughs> and we were all breaking out of prison, who would be the first to get caught or to slip up and die at this table? Be honest. I'd talk my way out of everything. <laughs> <laughs> who would be the first one to get caught? I'm going to fold. Um, That's are you, are you, are you I'm in included. It? I'm are you included? Wait a second. <laughs> I'm just saying. Are no, you go included? ahead. Roberto, I'm you got to. Oh, I got I got. This is a tough. It's to me. I have to say, yeah, yeah. this is a tough table. I think I will be the first one to get caught. Oh, You're being boy, nice. Yeah. When you were talking about a minute left, you talked <laughs> so about a plank. <laughs> so sick. I don't believe you at all. We all hey, I want to stay friends agree. with these guys. <laughs> I want to go to work with Crackle and get killed in another guest that puts. 
<laughs> guest star. That's right. That's right. There's, everybody, there's plenty of room for people to die on my show. Yay! Yay! Hudson takes that down, prison. which is five high there. Uh, I would freak out during a prison. Like, prison. like with the shiv, go crazy? Just or, go crazy. Or just mentally? Well, once the plan started for the first 20 minutes, I'd be in, I'd be quiet, and then there'd be a point where I'd be like, this isn't going to work. We're not going to do it this way. <laughs> I'm going rogue. I'm going rogue. I don't believe I don't in this team. I don't care what your tattoos yeah. say. We're going this way. Yeah. You seem dominant, and you had a good plan. That's great. I'm doing my own thing. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm straight for the sports line. <laughs> Minutes after that, I'd have regrets. <laughs> I shouldn't have gone rogue. Oh, yeah. I should I have stuck with the I what I was thinking. We had a good plan. <laughs> yeah, and they all got out. <laughs> Two <laughs> aces under the gun for Nelasco. Is it on me? <laughs> yeah, it no, it turns really sad, because yeah. I know where they went. Jake, you're the voice of the new Spider-Man and Peter Parker in the new Spider-Man movie coming out, Spider-Man into the Spideyverse, right? Yeah. Will you, in this hand, do one of the voices and say something pokery? I'm actually not okay. positive I'm allowed to talk about that job yet, young lady. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Little Birdie told me. What did I say? <laughs> Little Birdie told It has to be on Google. Yeah, I oh. think it's on the internet, but... Fair. Have you ever done any other voices in any other movies? Um, you could, um... Do you what? Do <laughs> You're on your own now. <laughs> so that's I, I actually just did a animated pilot for a TV show with Amy Poehler. Yeah. That I hope gets picked uh, up. She awesome. is 20. a massive talent. Well, she is. She was my, uh, one of my first improv teachers, Amy Poehler. Wow. And we used to play a lot of poker together back wow. in New York oh, at the cool. UCB Theater. The UCB, right? Yeah, now. absolutely. Would she be proud she of the is, way you're playing or not? She would be disgusted with uh, all my selections and choices. Uh, She'd be disgusted. You can phone a friend that. if you need to call during the game and ask her what to do with the hand. Trust me, with I friend. would. That's Can actually a really funny too, thing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. Phone what should friend? I do? <laughs> Everyone in the casino votes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So no Life action point. for Nalaska there. Trend. His aces takes <laughs> it down the on the flop. Card. I had this idea for the game. I was 50, like, we 50. should offer three things to the celebrities. You know, see, rabbit hunt, and then maybe they have to reveal what somebody previously played in a hand so mm. that they can get a pass okay. like read, this. a retroactive read. This is good. Okay. I like I these rules, this. by the way. I think like it'll this. be fun. This Thanks, is good. guys. We'll have to. You need to take over the hosting job. Well, you know. Joe Stapleton's a great guy, and so I can't sit here and say that I should do that. Okay, well, but I vote that he's gone. You can. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you decide you wanted to be a professional? Can you? Yes, yeah, go ahead. At what point did you say, I'm going to make a run at this with cards? And oh, I don't think any little girl sits there saying, like, that's what I'm going to do when I grow up. You, I think you have to fall into it, which I, I grew up here in L.A. playing with a bunch of actors. Um, yeah, okay. I just got, like, Zach Levi and yeah. Joel David Moore. I, you know Zach yes. and Joel I'll David Moore. I played their home game, and I think they just invited me because they thought I was cute. And I started, like, on a weekly basis. Well, you are cute. Thank you. Um, <laughs> it was, like, a $40 buy-in game, and I would make, like, 200 and 500 and 800. Yes. Oh, I'm good at my this. Bills. I was like, oh, I think I know how to do this. So I fell into playing. Good on you. How long Thank after you. that did you do the Stupid Vegas chips? 30. I then, within a year or two, um, I got hired to then do on-camera hosting for poker shows because I knew how to play, but I had a TV background. And I traveled the poker circuit for two years doing commentary and hosting and getting to talk to, like, you know, the Daniel Negronios of the world. And then at the 2008 World Series of Poker, I played the main event, and I took 17th out of about 7,000. I broke the record for 17. 17. Broke the record 17. for the largest oh. field a female had ever beat. And... Oh. Uh, then I was like, oh, this is a fun job. What Let's was, do this. What was it, 60? What was the 30. take on 17? 30. Uh, 350,000. Good for you. Thank nice you. work. Nice. But nice enough work. about me. Let's. I, it's a painful time to talk about, for Oliver to hear about World Series feats. I'm it is a little bit. This story. <laughs> I, mean, I really want to hear it. Everyone can't wait. Let me ask you this, though. Well, before we get off It's here. actually, hold on. It could be yeah. the perfect time. Are you betting? Just forget it, because it's, the segue is just perfect, because this is the hand. Oh, wow, that's so crazy. This is the hand that ruined my whole poker life. We're gonna, we are going to show that clip. We are going to show that clip. Yeah, Wait a minute, you're holding for life? This feels like the beginning of The Princess uh, Bride. Yeah. I want to see this story <laughs> told in a lot of different ways. I had you on the flop. So it was tins that crushed you at the World Series? Yeah. And yeah. Break that down for us. Well, am I Wait, allowed to yet? yet? Can we? We, we do. No, we have a clip coming in later that okay, we're going we'll to show that exactly that. I do so what happened? And we're just going to leave everybody hanging. And like the more has we anybody sing, else don't done show the World you Series besides you did it that year? Did you do any other years? No, but I played in three WPT events. You did great. I won everything online. I never bought in. I, I, you know, I won satellites and stuff. 
Yeah, so he's a secret ringer. At the what did you think about the, because uh, I, like I used to love the better. online plan. What did yeah. you think when everything was found out to be a big old Ponzi Thank scheme you. and all that? I know. I was bummed. But, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a, uh, a site called Bovada Poker that I still play on. Oh, you can't? Yeah. I might have just. I'll ask you during the, the police might show up at my house now. But. It's a it's a questionable topic because a lot of the sites are based out of the Outside, country, but right. they're trying to be within a certain jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. uh, Actually, yeah. Meanwhile, um, Robert, go ahead. He's Jack suited in parts here. I'm gonna follow gun. I hate that you cannot do that, but you can do fantasy football for months. Oh, it's That's such crazy. a I hate it. Daily fantasy. Football. Daily fantasy. I know. Computers to win that. Yeah, but like, it's also like, like you're allowed to do that with gambling, but we can't yeah. play poker. Yeah. Because I used to love online poker. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I never nice got game. into it. I, I was always skeptical about who was on the other side and. Which you, know, you were right to be. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in Vegas, you can, the World Series now has a site. Vegas and I think Atlantic City now have online poker. Because oh, anywhere that's obviously a big gaming mm -hmm. state. Mm -hmm. you oh, you can do it. That's 20? Mm -hmm. That's interesting. But if I'm so, in Vegas. I was going to say, sit in your hotel room. Hudson okay. outflops really Riggle, really hitting choice. his nine. Turn is a 10. Both players with a straight. Make sure I have it. Raise. What did it take long? Uh, I'll raise another 30. No more rigs. There we go. Mm, it's the board pairs, I think. Beautiful. Okay. It's very quiet when, mm -hmm. uh, when the series mm -hmm. yeah, action. Yeah, right oh, it got Damn it. Quite, wow. Board oh, pairs. Right, yes. Honestly, that's a straight Looks right like there. it goes check, check. Ooh. It will be a chop pot. Show us a, show us a chop, no? Oh, it's a chop. Oh, it's a chop. Ooh, it's a chop. You I, put those over like. I, I didn't uh, mean to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you also did a really sad, over. yeah, super That's weird thing. It was a pretty you slow went, flip over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just mean we split. Like, uh, we split. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. There you go. <laughs> Really even. It's time for us to take a short break and to remind you that Poker Night Live is brought to you by Kimosabi Mezcal and Sit and Go 2.0. Stay tuned this week for more celebrity poker action live streaming Thursday and Friday on twitch.tv slash poker night TV. You can also head to gardenspokernight.com for more information. Poker Night Live continues right here when we return after this. See if I put out a. a How would you like to play against the pros on national TV? Download now to play and win. It's absolutely free to play. I just, you know what, it's funny. What I love the most is the, uh, the adrenaline. Every time you get a pair of aces, my heart starts beating so hard. And, it's, and it was because they know, do they really know I have this? I don't believe actors are better poker players, but we're better liars. Definitely. <laughs> Welcome back to the Gardens Casino. You're watching Poker Night Live, Hollywood home game with Rob Riggles regulars. That's not hard to say. Right now, the action is on. Oh, we everybody folded to my button raise, so this hand is over now. <laughs> so wait, what does almost went to med school mean? I almost went to med school myself. Uh, I was almost my mom, I come from a line of doctors. My dad is a doctor. My mom is a doctor. My brother is a doctor. Everybody. And my degree is in biology. So I was on my you were way. Right there. I was right so there. What so happened? oh, I, I took a left turn somewhere. I don't know what happened, and I ended up here with you guys now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to your family. Dude. <laughs> you probably did the Krebs cycle. You, you, <laughs> you ended up at the Wine Gardens with this degenerate group. Well done. Is your dad's going. I mean, I'm proud of him. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's funny because if you ask my mom, she doesn't speak very much English. Actually, she doesn't speak none English whatsoever. And um, uh, I call. And um, Hudson, two fours. You know, the Lasco is being suited. The sheep of the family. Because you went an actor. Yeah, it's an actor. Whatever. You know what? What you're thinking? You're on your own. You're gonna, you know, support yourself. We're not supporting you. I go fine. And then time goes by, and things ha start happening to me. My career moves on, and and mom was the first one. Like she would run into people and says, "How's the Maori doing?" And she would have magazines in her. <laughs> 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 Doing like she was the best publicist ever. That's amazing. You know, so, so, 20 to you, Mark. Hudson bets uh, with his I'll fours. Definitely getting called here not. by an Alaska with Ace Queen. Any of my jobs. 
They didn't keep any clippings. Nothing? No, because look where they came from. They're not going to be keeping a clipping of some, like, <laughs> some weird independent movie that I've done. Other oh, eight on Way the to bring turn. it down, Oliver. Four players with boats, <laughs> technically. <laughs> Rental stories. Right. Sorry. Do you want to talk some more about that really, really bad? But no, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> what is it? Uh, Twenty. 20. Well, speaking yeah, of Rob I'm Riggle's regulars, that really try saying that, that three times. Amari's yeah. the only person here who actually, Amari, apparently you're good at breaking out of prison and breaking into poker games because you weren't a, weren't a part of the uh, Rob Riggle crew. I'll race. Somehow not, not worked your now, way. But now, now, now I'm now. part of it. You He's know, totally are you kidding me? I feel like I was the only one out there that, you know, it's, I, I had this, brother. Yeah, I figured. Um, but now I feel like part of the family. You are. The, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely. Uh, I've been adopted. <laughs> Absolutely. It's the Rob Riggle Renaissance. And you know we what? We need a doctor in the game. It's just <laughs> always like that. We need an almost doctor. An almost doctor. Hey. <laughs> hey. I love it. He's bleeding. What should we do? Ah, uh, stop it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> stop the money. There's no I in team. That's right. Well, there's three in syphilis, so I'm sorry. That's <laughs> live. Uh oh. Do you love those billboards? Symbols of LA. Like, no. <laughs> yeah. It depends. Some of the most no, seasoned parts oh. of the world. It depends. depends on if you have it. <laughs> right. right. Exactly. Exactly. Oh. Cool. Um, Try to skip out on your Alaska first yeah, to act yeah, here pull. under the gun. I need to save money somehow. Sarah's watching you. Now, if anybody wants to, you know, increase the action, they can <laughs> straddle, straddle. pay it forward and straddle. Nice, pay it forward. Very nice. So now, nice. isn't it amazing just, how just, just, they talk about the six degrees of separation, and we've all somehow either worked with somebody that we've worked so, like, we work with Bruce. Mm -hmm. I know your boy, Damon. Oh, no way. Um, and you and I, we haven't gone through our list, but I'm pretty sure and mm -hmm. I, met you, I met your sister That's before. Right. You know, Damon, so. Damon and I work together. We're, we all like Damon. He's a friend. <laughs> I don't think Damon like. Damon, nah, who Damon cares? likes me. No, no, no. I'm pretty no. sure he does. No, no. Damon, well, Damon was invited Damon tonight. Damon Wayans? Like, junior, yes. Yeah. Damon was Wayans Jr. He yeah. was invited junior. tonight. He said, I'm he not said going no? to the Superstars yeah. game. Wait, oh. what? He said hard. <laughs> I feel like he said oh, hard pass. I mean, I, he did send me a weird email, <laughs> but now it's starting to make more sense. I just saw him in New York uh, performing at the Caroline uh, Comedy Club. Phenomenal. He's a funny just, guy. He's hilarious. I paid him. And when he I does his thing about that. his, uh, how he imitates his dad, yeah. dead on, uh, it's <laughs> hilarious. Hilarious. We did. Rickle uh, with the Damon Jack Ford does movie, call. Let's be cops together. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. That's right. Yeah. Yes, that's right. And Dave, uh, Rob, I'll when call. he wasn't shooting, would sit at uh, Video Village and give us jokes. <laughs> Which was so great to That's have great. an on-set on writer who That's wasn't being paid. We'd be like, hey, Rob, what are you up to today? And he's like hanging out. We're like, you want to just come hang out, watch the scene? And sure. Just yell stuff. He'll, just, he'll <laughs> just come up and say things. I'll check. Speaking of movies you are allowed to talk about, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about that. You have, um, you have a, a film tag Yes. Out? I'm not allowed to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did a movie called Tag that comes out this summer that uh, is based funny. off a true story about a group of friends who play tag. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, yeah, these guys out in Washington State really did it. They yeah. Finished college and they said, How are we going to stay friends? And they said, What if we played tag? That's amazing. Yeah. For one That's month so a year cool. and see what happens. And now, as they got older and more successful in their life, they get weirder with it. And they like fly to where the other people are and dress wow, up. Oh, that's cool. That's yeah, so right. it was a lot of fun. Comes out this summer, and I hope people like it. I'm looking forward to. It's a fun I'm going to push these aside, but I love you. I hope your the show, camera brother. saw what I had. Love your show. I'll look, Thanks, man. I'll look and judge you. So, that's it? Why was that complicated? No, no, it wasn't. Good. Oh, I get it. I get it. I was sitting here going now? like this, and I was uh, like, that's a pretty eat. And then I went like this, and so I get it. It was yeah. a jack four. Uh, <laughs> and I, for sentimental oh, reasons, I you kept should have tried I to got win one of those, and I wanted to tell you so bad. <laughs> I had it if I anybody wins attention. with a jack four, they have to show. <laughs> yeah, they have to the night. Yeah, the night's yeah. over. You, you should play the seven deuce game with jack four. Seven deuces, if you right. ever win with seven deuce and actually table and win a pot, everyone has to pay you five dollars. Hey, you should do that four. with jack four. Okay, good. You guys want to do that? Yeah, perfect. Yes. If anybody wins Wait. a hand and uh -huh. shows, does it, does it matter if it's suited or not? No. 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 Okay, suited or not, if anybody wins a pot and shows with jack four, everyone has to give you five dollars. Perfect. Great. Done. I like that. If it's a jack four. Jack four. Usually we call it seven deuce, where you have to win with seven deuce because it's a bad hand but oh so the I'm jack sorry. four game is on right now Jack now. four johnson it's your new name 
Oh, one looks good. Sorry? Rob, how does one go from uh, being in the military, you've served for, what, 23 years, Correct. to being wow. a superstar actor? Thank you for that, <laughs> Tiffany. The, uh, <laughs> superstar, Jake. It's true. It's, it's, true. Just, it's stuck. Yes. It's Your stuck. words again, not mine, but uh, <laughs> thank you for that. Uh, great question. Uh, no, uh, I was a theater I film major in college. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, had my so pilot's 15 license. On top? 15 on top, yes, sir. In undergrad. What'd you do? What was the damage? Yeah, I called, I called um, Jake's and I, then just I doubled it. $30 to you. This is just outlandish. You're here to Don't gamble. Do it, Rob. Uh, you're right, I didn't come here for the. The what? The camaraderie? <laughs> for the harassment. <laughs> for the harassment. I tried to stack them all neat. Yeah. Like See that? Uh, always, wanted to, uh, always wanted to serve and always wanted to be an actor and a comedian, so uh, sure. I was able to do both. And that's all it really came down to. And, uh, Did you work? I'm sorry, you're in a hand. <clears throat> I forgot what I had. Mm -hmm. That's what happens so when you start chit-chatting. So well, at least Jack is still right good here. for Nolasco. Oh, wow. Marine Corps, yeah. This so is what we do to distract him when he's in a hand. We're like, wow. talk about yourself so that you're not focusing on how to play. I haven't mm -hmm. thought about it too much. Coming apart, boy. Right. Coming apart. Uh, Both Riggle and Johnson you, have straight draws serving, and flush draws now. Working? Yes. Yes, uh, I would uh, at night go down and study. I was uh, stationed in uh, New York City on my last active duty station, and I would go down to the Upright Citizen Brigade and take classes and cool. study improv and sketch. And I studied uh, acting with Marsha Halfrecht at the Common Basis Theater. And call. Did a bunch of things. Wow. What did she say about your acting? She said, don't ever quit. Don't <laughs> ever, ever quit. It's a lot your of gift <laughs> needs to be seen by everybody that can possibly see it. Right. I think that's what she said, but it happened so fast. Right. <laughs> Especially uh, those who watch the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially those who watch the NFL. Uh, yeah, and then uh, look, I did nine years of active duty, 14 years in the wow. reserves for a total of 23. That's 40. The whole time I was in the reserves, I was uh, what, pursuing 40. comedy and acting. So. Oh, what is it? Uh, is it? Did your military right? buddies, were they like, did they think you were funny? Were they like, yeah, whatever, Rob? Yeah, the ones I the ones I let my hair down in front of, uh, which isn't easy to do in the Marines, but I'm bunch. But I uh, uh, the ones that the ones yeah the guys that knew me. Awesome. So it was a good uh, good experience. I people always ask you know does it uh, did anything transfer from your Marine days to acting? Nothing, not one mm -hmm. thing, mm -mm. except for the intangibles like the uh, never quit, thick skin, because mm -hmm. you know in Hollywood. You get told no all the time. All the, they kidding me? All right. the time. They shut you down, and it's hard not to right. beat yourself up. Uh, well, and, and the it's, ama it's amazing how many. I uh, also believe in never quitting yeah. unless it's for a break. We have oh. to step away. <laughs> nice but first, I want to tell you that weekdays at noon Eastern, Jim Rome welcomes you to the jungle for three hours of hot takes, high impact interviews, and a steady dose of the clones. It's the Jim Rome Show on CBS Sports Network. <laughs> Poker Night Live. We'll be right back after these messages. Poker Night Live is brought to you by our trusted friend, Kimo Sabi Mezcal. Why settle for tequila? Step up to Kimo Sabi. I started playing poker in Vancouver, Canada. I was doing a TV show there, and they had a casino, and I went to the casino, and I played Hold'em for the first time and, and fell madly in love with it. And uh, I was there as much as I could be there. I was just constantly playing limit poker at the time, and then I bought every book you could possibly imagine. I created a poker room in my first house. I took the entire guest house, made it Vegas-style poker room. I'd have games there till 3, 4 a.m. I mean, I became obsessed. You know, I played in WPT events, I was playing online, and then I had three kids. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Los Angeles and Poker Night Live Hollywood home game from the Gardens Casino. I'm Tiffany Michelle, your guest host for tonight's game. Jesse Abramowitz is in the commentary booth seeing all our whole cards and probably judging us like Oliver called earlier. Say something nice about the way I'm playing, Jesse. I think you missed some value with that ace six, but otherwise fine. Didn't. We can't hear him at the table, but I'm pretty sure the I'm folks at home nice. heard I'm him say, it was I something great think about, he said yeah, something yeah. pretty. About me. He said 85,000, on the other hand. Yeah. Pretty nice. I'm pretty sure that is what he uh, he said. Yeah. 
So we were, we were talking uh, NFL draft. Oh, Rob said oh, yes. you got something. NFL, there. no, just NFL draft. I, the thing I enjoyed about it the most <laughs> was watching Cleveland fans oh. as they <laughs> melted down over Baker Mayfield's selection because <laughs> right. the Cleveland picked them first. And they, they literally, people started crying. People fell to the floor. They really? collapsed. It's the quarterback. Right? They're wrong, quarterback. Like, yeah. Their, their record right now is 1-31 and 31 in the last two years. Uh, That's crazy. So it's horrendous. It's bad. They need help. Yeah. But the fact that they unraveled so hard over their number one pick. <laughs> I mean, people were burning stuff in the streets. It was <laughs> awesome. It was, a shock. it was a shock. I was, it was a Let shocking pick. I will give you that. Whenever you they win, win, whenever that happens, Whenever they win the, the Super Bowl, I mean, I will be afraid to be in the city because it's just, it's just going to be. It's going to be crazy. Uh, more, it's just going to so be. So, what do you guys think of Mayfield as the number one pick? I don't know. I will tell you, I'll be totally honest. I don't. I'm not convinced. You're not. They said not that Pats had, had scouted him really hard. That they were sort of interested. I just thought in that too. Yeah. And that then all of a sudden made me feel like it was a really good pick. Right. Yeah. I really thought the Jets made out like a bandit. Yeah. The Jets yeah. made out because they got that Sam. Uh, What's Rob, his name? Uh, Sam Donald, Donald. Donald. Yeah. Did the Giants Donald's. end up getting a, a quarterback as well? Uh, Giants? Running back. Uh, second a running Margaret. back. Yeah. Yeah, they're looking exciting. to fill out their because receiving. Because I, I knew there were. I mean, the whole Eli thing. I don't know. You know, there were just. Fifteen. Yeah. Well, it's just we lost all four receivers in the same quarter of the same game last year, and then you're like, what can you like do the wolf, after baby. that? Like, oh. You ain't gonna fear the reaper. <laughs> So Riggle with Trip Kings at 15 here. Jake Thompson calls it a gut shot. Uh -oh. oh, that's the one uh -oh. I needed. Uh -oh. The six is what locked it. Uh -oh. Get in business now. I'll make you feel better about that fold, Jake, and I will finally give you what you've been wanting all night, which is the end of Oliver's big World oh, Series good. story. Oh, I'm not this. sure how many hardcore poker fans we have watching tonight, but Oliver Thank is you. famous for taking a historic bad beat at the 2005 <laughs> World Series of Poker main event. The buy-in was $10,000. Uh, this was the very oh. first hand of the entire week-long tournament. We're going to pick up the action with this clip <laughs> on the turn after Oliver and poker pro Sammy Farha have each flopped a full house. Let's see what happens. Uh, <laughs> turn card is a queen. Hudson will now bet 300. Sammy Farha Great. raises to 1300. Thousand to call. Hudson all drawing in. dead, all raises in. all in. Call. Farha snap calls. Oh my God. And takes Hudson's entire stack. First hand. Nice hand, Sam. Thank you. <laughs> First hand. That's it. Hey, nice hand. Settle. He goes. Oliver, that was a do you replay that uh, hand uh, over and over sweating, and over again? How, how do you not, how do you not, not play that hand? No, how do you not do that? Yeah. He, he bet 1,300 out and I went all in with a queen, the turned queen. He could have easily had ace queen, but my mind was so, I, I was so crazy. Oh. You know, and, and I couldn't believe what was happening <laughs> that I lost all like oh mind God. function. Like, but he put it all in there. $10,000, the very first time, like people dream their whole lives of yeah. going to the World Series, yeah. having this moment, yeah. and did you ever play the World Series made event no. again? <laughs> of course I did not, not. you know it's so funny. So you have one hand. Yeah, one hand in the World Series program. And it's like a seven, ten day long tournament. Yes. Like people come from all over and there's all this so hype and you, you get ready. You left and you that sit. table, you gotta tell me the Yeah, what's the like, day? Walk us through it. Walk, through, walk us through the day. First you almost thing jumped I did, off of the, <laughs> the first thing I did is I went to my friend Toby McGuire, who was okay. a poker player, and I go, I'm out. And he goes, what? And, and it's actually on film. It's on camera. Right there. And he's like, I'm, I told him I lost. I walk through the casino. I'm like in a daze. I go play one of those spinny things. And I like put a hundred on like a really rare number, like a one. And it goes like, Grrr, and it's like literally goes to the one. I'm like, yeah. And it goes click over to the ten. I'm like, <laughs> Wife You're just is, in a depth. My trail. girlfriend is my wife now. I, I, I was like, sleep in, babe. I'm gonna be here all day. You don't have to come down. Oh, I God. call her on. She goes, what are you doing? I'm like, it's over. <laughs> I'm done. She's like, what do you mean you're done? I'm like, I'm out. I'm you can't, you can't rebuy? You can't, like, no, oh. no, this is the biggest tournament no, no. in the world. But hey, let me tell you something, though. This is poker god stuff because I had to leave the next day. I was doing a movie in Montreal. I couldn't have stayed if I was even chip leader. Okay. So. So you kind of blasphemed so that, that the poker takes god. The sting out of it. Yeah. And, and, and I won my way in. I, did, I didn't okay. pay the full 10 grand. It, I think okay. it would have been harder. It would have been harder if he was chip, le chip leader and then he has to leave. 
You True. Know? Also, if you wow. would have paid the 10 G's, that would have cut it. Wow. Yeah. That would have hurt. You had a sandwich you never got to eat? I did. It was a little Starbucks muffin. <laughs> Still remember it. it. Stayed at the table. So when, when you saw when you went out and you saw that thing click from one and click over on you, yeah. at that moment you had to realize I'm on the op I'm on the polar opposite end of luck. Yeah, oh no. That's so you should have just whatever you said, get someone to bet the opposite <laughs> totally. and clean house. I know. It was and then wow. I just wandered the strip for like an hour. It's a great <laughs> It's a great I, homeless. <laughs> I think I would have gone straight to the bar. It really would have. Well, Good I had point. a couple drinks. Well, <laughs> Jake Johnson's <laughs> got two aces or <laughs> Tiffany <laughs> sevens. King no, Queen. You would have, I mean, I would be in a daze. I think I would be in a daze trying to recap. Pair of ten. Yeah. There's a ten. Did you think about it for like months? Oh yeah. And then I would go into every casino. Would they'd be like pocket tens after it aired. Oh god, of course. <laughs> oh, yeah. Of course. Pocket tens. Oh, like, dude, that was crazy. Uh, and then I saw Farha. I played in a WPT event and during a break. I was in the bathroom and I saw Farha, and I was like pocket tens and he goes oh my oh, god oh. and he goes I was so scared Farha said I didn't know what to do even though he snap called because yeah. he said he goes you could have had ace queen I don't know well I'm going oh, he to uh, think about that he would have been out first one now that would have been a story too and the other thing too is I just knew how he played you know because I he's uh, like reckless he's reckless, crazy yeah and I was crazy about poker back Shadow. then so I knew a lot that's a really hard story. Uh, I'm sorry man that's tough. Uh, it, it being the first hand yeah. if it wasn't the first hand yeah there's a lot of ways you could get out of sure. there you did everything right no there's no way no matter out. how Shadow you too. bet that I but mean I think I don't you're just know on the I tracks told. you're gonna get hit you you have to specifically put him on quad aces or ace 10 that's right. the only way you get away right. from it and it's just so hard specifically to put somebody on those two Especially when you're like a moron like me, really, right. who gets all excited. I'm at the yeah. featured table on ESPN. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, this yeah. is yeah. happening. And right 2005, now. by the way, was <laughs> Jamie Gold. I that think. was the peak. You know, I think. See, he won it in six. Christmas oh, he did. Baker. But but okay. uh, 2005, 2006 were, was kind of the peak of the whole poker rush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, so yeah. that was the height. Yeah, of it was. The popularity. Yeah. It was. It really was. You were famous. Sure. You were like a poker star. Oh yeah. ESPN still, featured table. I mean, Look at still the hair, the glasses. You were just living the poker. Life back um, th then. That was the worst part about it, though. Is I came in looking like a poker fool, like <laughs> glasses on the hat. Anybody who plays the game, though, knows. <laughs> I know, but you I, can get, you I can get beat <laughs> on weird. I've spabbies. never worn glasses at a table since. Well, as, you, as you should not. As you should not. Are you just scarred? Is it just like? Yeah, it's just when I look at it again, I'm like, what are you doing? Who do you think you <laughs> are, man? <laughs> well, you didn't know the tournament All was in? just started. No, I said, yeah. I called you, were right. covering your, you were covering your eyes. Really? You were playing with a bunch of sharks. I would cover up, too. Yeah. I would absolutely. The story's too good, but I must mention that <laughs> Haley Joel Osment does have the nut flush oh, versus Nolasco's Kings. It is a great perfect. story. It is perfect. It is just a perfect story. You're like, you really grind, you get there, you're like nervous. You're like, all right, let's oh, yeah. see what happens day one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm going to oh, bob gosh. and weave. I'm not going to go crazy. Totally. And you're like, well, I just yeah. fell into a double. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is what I thought. I was like, sure. I was like, this is amazing. I would have made the same. I would have been like, oh, this if is you, crazy. If great. you rewatch it too, I put my thing up. I gotta, I'm like, you oh, win. Yeah, what's up? They what's can up? study that tape. Up. This is what it looks like when you're confident and betting. <laughs> and then I'm like, huh? Fortunately, after we've heard that story, nobody can feel bad about any bad beat that yeah. we suffer that's at right. this that's, that's table, even whatever's about to happen here. So you have a flush? Good. So uh, I, uh, second, you curse. we have to take what people in the biz call a sponsor break, but I like to call it a drink break. Hey. Poker Night Live hey. is brought to you by Kimo Sabi Mezcal and Sit and Go 2.0. We'll be back with more Hollywood insider dish, bad beat stories, and poker action after this. Do I have to read? Poker Night Live is brought to you by Sit and Go 2.0. Go to sitandgo20.net to claim your free Sit and Go 2.0 strategy ebook. Uh, I started playing poker back in New York City when I was uh, uh, at the Upright Citizen Brigade Theater. Amy Poehler, uh, she used to host poker nights and stuff, and we'd, sometimes we'd do it at the theater after the theater closed, and sometimes we'd go to people's apartments, but I started back in New York. Yeah, people ask me all the time, are there correlations between, uh, between jet skiing and how I play poker? Do I, how do I do both? And drunk and reckless is usually the answer. This. Welcome back to Talk Night <laughs> Live, where Rob Riggle, Jake Johnson, Haley Joel Osment, Oliver Hudson, and Amari Nolasco, in no particular order and definitely having nothing to do with how I rank their poker skills, have joined us for a Hollywood home game here at the Gardens Casino. 
Did you see me rake that pot? I, d I missed it. So when you I go to the wriggle evaluation, I just want you to be aware <laughs> that I break the pot. The wriggle evaluation? Uh, you're evaluating me. I know you are. You're a professional. So far, I feel like you're a fairly tight conservative player. That is my evaluation. So mistaken, Whoops. i got to tell you. <laughs> I'm reckless. This reckless good. wriggle? Dangerous. You need to go around the table and evaluate all of yeah, us. Yeah, that'd be fun. Oh, that'd be a fun game. Yeah. Thank you. And do it also, not on poker skills too, but just personal yeah, hygiene. Yeah, personal. Right. Oh, That'll be a less fun game tonight. <laughs> <laughs> There's a funky smell coming from over here. So I won a poker tournament. You did? Tell me about I it. I did. How big of a Let's poker. go from Oliver's bad beat story to actually yeah. fun poker stories. So I, I, do you remember Carmageddon here in Los Angeles? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I knew the roads were going to be terrible. Everything was going to be shut down. And, um, uh, so I called uh, a guy that plays poker, Sam Levine, he's an actor, mm -hmm. um, and I said, let's go to Vegas, get out of town. Uh, Smart idea. And he said, all right. So on the way up, I explained how bad I am at poker and I need help. And so he gave me some quick coaching. We, we got up there and we got there in time for the afternoon tournament. And, that's uh, not even tight aggressive. That's ridiculous. There was no bet. It's okay. I think you just folded into life. I'm telling a story. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm telling a story. Sorry. I'm telling a story. Sorry. And I knew I knew uh, Oliver was coming heavy. Look at, that, look at that fat stack he's about look to this, Look at this. Look at this. I was going to yeah, do the that's same. 20 American. I was going to fold out no a turn as well. Uh, <laughs> this is a Canadian. Wait, he's going to go to the tournament at Planet Hollywood. Nice. And won it. Nice. Yeah. Was it the first tournament you played? Yes. That's exciting. 70, actually, 70 players in the I actually was, won my first tournament, too. Yeah? I got, I was invited to a tournament in Vegas. Nice. Um, I never played before. I just wanted a the free trip to Vegas. They were flying me. I go, I want a trip to Vegas. Get there. I get there a half hour before the tournament. I should and I raise, the, uh, but in case you have a straight. I go, let me see. What do we have here? Uh, oh, it's two pair versus trip trips. Trip. So, um... I won. I go to the dealer, I go, give you me raise a that, crash win. course huh? if you raise that, on this, win. because I've yeah. never played poker in my life. Thank you. And he gave me a few tips. He goes, be patient, do this, do this, do this, and this is a, a cheat nice. sheet. Yeah. And I went through it. I got to the final table with uh, Troy Aikman. No kidding. And I'm in awe because it's Troy sure, Aikman, sure. you know. Super I like the bold. fact that I'm in awe because you made it to the final table. I know, no, 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 no. <laughs> so, and he's pissed at me. Because he can't read what I'm doing. Clearly, you know, right. you know, now that we know, you know, how to play a little bit better, you clearly know when the, the rookie's there and he's just saying, yeah, hit me and whatever. Not hit me, but um. That's how we knew you were the rookie, because yeah, exactly. you were saying, hit me and we're playing poker, <laughs> right. and that was the wrong terminology. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. guy, this fish over here. Uh, it's on me, but I was Although Ace-10 oh. is a good starting hand. 15. There's something about being a, a, a newbie and being an amateur at a poker game. Something about the innocence you have. You mentioned like playing like one of your race. first tournaments and winning it. There is something. You can't do it over oh, and over no, again, no. but there is something about that first time. I won like a $70 well, Harris. I knew all the, the rules. Of poker. Oh, yeah. I knew all the rules right. and I knew like certain things. So you know, in comes Jake Johnson with two I jacks. is going to three bet it to 55. Betting, so Sam kind of coached me up on betting. And it helped a lot. I feel like oh, this, this is, is a Jack forward. Four move oh. right now. Uh, this is such a he wants that five dollars from everybody. He wants that. It's worth this five dollars. That's from exactly what I think that is. It's bragging rights. <laughs> I don't think. What so. you raised to? You don't think this is a, a Jack Four move? Mm -mm. Oh, that's exactly. Well, what in it life, is like it's a pain. Jack Four move. I think it's a middle. <laughs> what's your guess? Middle pair. What is? What? How much is that? Fifty-five. Forty on top. I said 40. middle pair. Let's fifty-nine. Let's take it. Huh? Forty-one total. Tiffany does call. All the jacks you can oh, see there are like dead. No jacks left. <laughs> Is that mine? I think that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> There's chips in front of all of us. Those mine. <laughs> no, I don't want a part of that. That's what I always ask at like crab tables and stuff. Like when the dealers have seen someone try and like do that yeah. like, oh. in the most heavily. Yeah, I never place understood anybody trying to pull that. Business. Yeah. <laughs> Queen 7 5. Riggle folded the well, best of it. Jake Whoa, Johnson yeah. will bet second pair here. Because Ooh. <laughs> coming from the pro, that doesn't make any sense. That was a stupid move. I'm going to see a set of fives. It's a subtle way of saying it. It's a subtle way. 30. Five. Set of fives. He's in. Call it. Why do I feel like you have Jack 4 right now? You said 30? Yes. But you have like King's Races. No. I'm going to raise. <laughs> Ooh. Interesting spot from Tiffany. I really like it. Thirty. Hundred more. How can you tell that quick? 
Oh, no, they're good. Right? Oh, because they're stacks oh, my of hundred. God. Oh, good. Yeah. They're good at what they do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can I'm going to do Rain Man here. It seems like Rain Man. Are you kidding me? Uh, uh, wait, action. what? Jake Johnson oh, gotta, does gotta, make gotta, the call. He's gotta, he's gotta, oh, he has aces or kings. Pair of aces? Aces Locked or kings. I, I think he's got middle pair. I think he, he did it. Oh, Jake, the Jack 4 oh. Johnson. What to do now? I don't think you have Jack 4 club anymore, by the way. Fun. I think you have aces or it's kings. It's not a fun club right there. Do I be nice or do I be nasty? Be nice. It's your show. You have a good poker face. <laughs> <laughs> you have a really good poker it's face. It's your show. Oh, thank you. Uh, oh, I'm all in. That, wow. Wow. Tiffany. Tiffany commits to the story, going for the Tiff bluff here. Brutal. Can we at least show the cards? Because, you have to uh, show these cards. This isn't real, right? <clears throat> Let's just have fun. And... Come on. So I'll show you real... who we see. Ooh. Ooh. I really thought you had Jack Four. Jake calls. Tiffany's jack. bluff gets picked off. I have a jack high. Oh. Oh. Oh, that that's an amazing. And I should have gotten you off on like the clubs or the queens or the oh nice God. hands. I, I got God, stuck that in that was one. Balls. I got stuck These in that guys one. These guys play. Oh my God. God. That was amazing. Wait, let, me ask, let me ask you a question. What, Wait, what, what one second. You? If okay, you're sorry. enjoying yeah. tonight's action, <laughs> guess what? I host the Gardens Poker Night live stream every Thursday and Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific, and I try not to do nasty stuff like that, but you never know because it's a live stream. We bring you celebrity games like this one, ladies' nights, and a regular high-stakes 5K buy-in game. You can visit GardensPokerNight.com for more information and watch us on the Twitch channel. Don't go anywhere. Tonight's star-studded game with bluffs and big wins will continue on Poker Night Live right after Thank this. You. Nice. Cheers. How would you like to play against the pros on national TV? Download now to play and win. It's absolutely free to play. Welcome back to the Gardens Casino and Poker Night Live Hollywood Home Game. I'm Tiffany Michelle, your host for the evening. And if you're freaking out at home like, I hear dead people. Sorry, <laughs> Haley had to. That's the voice in the sky, our commentator, Jesse Abramowitz. Say something scary, Jesse. Pocket jacks. Oh, that was crazy. We Tiny can't guys. hear Jesse, yeah. but you can at home, so there's no need to be alarmed. Jesse is like a good, helpful ghost who explains things like drawing dead and how you shouldn't play Jack 10 against a guy at your table who you think has Jack 4 and get all of your money in and lose it. Right? That's what Jesse tells That's people at home. Pretty much. I was just going on a little rant there, Jake. Jesse is good. Yeah, I'll be right there. Oh, yeah. No, uh, you be yeah, be here we go. Me too. <laughs> Rigs. Ooh. What? Ooh. Watch this. What? I haven't even looked at my car. What? Go Ooh. 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 Oh, Poker night That's right. I'm crazy, guys. <laughs> I'm crazy. So Wiggle's got two queens. So Omar, it's a oh, I, I keep like thinking it's a family pot. Here. And then Let's see. You got a call. We're all well, I mean, never in. We're all calling, so you know what? It's yeah. a family pot. Why not? It's that time of night. The viewers at home deserve some Super action. Super exciting. Why not? Like what I was trying to provide okay. when I just straight bluffed the river and just lost like out. 500. <laughs> Jake. Oh, wow. Well, I'm going to check. Sorry. I'm going to check. Check. <laughs> ace, king, king. Johnson with the only ace. Jake Johnson, that is. 30. 30. Robert, you just got real quiet. Can I feel your pulse? No, you'll be going too fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call. Oh, uh, gosh. So meanwhile, Jake Johnson actually folds the best hand. Tiffany floats That's with 7-4. <laughs> was that Rob, a tell? that was out loud. Was that a tell? <laughs> that was out loud. 40. <laughs> the inner outer is out. 40. 40. Do it, Rob. Do it. <laughs> I know, now I have this super spewy image. I have, Ooh. A, have a real good one this time. Why are you raising? Ooh. Robert Riggle. I think Tiff, full on bluff. So Tiffany full on. goes well, 40 here, and Riggle, debating um, between 
a call oh, and a no. raise, maybe? Uh, you need help with the math? No, I'll explain, <laughs> I'll explain it it's later. It's an abacus right here. <laughs> Wait. Your 40. I'll okay. explain it later, but... Oh, Just a call uh, to the wow. river they go, it's Tiffany really drawing to a seven. How? Hmm. Ooh. All right, come on. 100. I mean, how do you not, I'll right? show you. Show me yours. I said, how do you not? You doing a... Well, is Tiffany going to get picked off in back-to-back -back hands? What's your read? Let me tell you if it's good or not. You calling? I think you have an ace or a king in there. You're calling, yeah? Uh, mm -hmm. I am calling. I have one of... No. Oh, my God. <laughs> I totally thought I had the last hand. I totally thought I had, I had ace, king, last hand. I totally thought we were still on this. I have seven, four. Oh, my <laughs> seven, God. Seven, four. Riggs, what Didn't you do pair away with an ace kicker? You lose? Wait, no, you got to flip these cards. Wait, do you lose? You have to have a pair of something. I have a jack four. No, I'm kidding. I have a pair of yeah. You are yeah. such a slow roller, by the way. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. God. I was stuck on my last hand, and my last hand I had ace, king, so I was still sitting here in my brain thinking we're on the last. Oh, oh my God. That was an unusual <laughs> hand. Oh. I'm just paying that people off. That was a weirdo right. up there, lady. Oh, my gosh. That was amazing. She was excited. Oh, my gosh. She, she was kidding, guys. <laughs> She's a pro. She, I, I, no, I'd actually rather. Like, uh, by like, the way, I should have left that hand so long ago with, when the, oh, when the, yeah, sure, the right. flop couldn't have been any worse for me. No. Right. But, um, so here's the thing. This is how bad my poker skills have gotten because I haven't played in years. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I, it was a $40 bet. And I was like, can I put out, like, do I have to put out 40, so does it have to be an 80 to raise? Yeah, yeah. And I didn't know if I could, I didn't know. Nice. So I was like, I'm just going to call when I wanted to raise. But I didn't know that's what well, I thought you thought. I was doing. Like, well, so, so I'm, like, I'm not going to talk about this one. I'm not going to talk about it. Exactly. You I don't got all my money else. anyway. Seems like the smartest dummy one that oh. had. My gosh. <laughs> it wasn't, I was, I literally. I'll just, take luck any day of the week. Wow. So when you said, I'll show. Yes. I was, I literally was still stuck on my last hand, which was ace king, which you guys can watch it back. Entirely. And I was just thinking, we well, are still on that same no, hand. the way because you it... rolled over that four was the <laughs> sheer, sheer confidence. I mean, and then she throws a what four. What is this four of hearts doing here? Oh my goodness. Yeah, that, I, look, nobody deserves to win like that. I apologize. Well, you had queens, though, so it was actually a good no, hand. Meanwhile, Oliver Hudson with two black jacks in the hole will make it 20. It doesn't matter what you think you <laughs> have. <laughs> oh, I'm really sorry. I felt like I, I had something else. Oh, well, she did not. <laughs> oh, my God. last hand was over. Oh, uh, well. Well, Oliver, now I'll have something to live down in. Alaska doubles it. Now I am all turned the small <laughs> Now we'll play this back, and everyone will ask me about how I, I was feeling afterwards and whether I had a drink at the bar. And if I had to fly no, no, somewhere, which is why I donked all my chips to Rob. <laughs> Rob, we only had five seats available tonight for your best friend game. Yes. <laughs> but you have a lot of very, uh, com coming to your big, big Slick event, you have a lot of very famous friends like Jason Deckis and Paul Rudd and Will Ferrell. If you could invite Again? somebody mm -hmm. else. I'll check. To, no, actually, better question. Who's the funniest person you've worked with? Jake doesn't count because he's sitting here. We don't want to hurt his feelings. Ooh, because Jake is one of the funniest, 40. for real. Someone um, not at this table, someone not funniest actor table. that you personally found to be I the have. funniest person. I would say I probably Will Ferrell. Yeah. That's Will 40. Ferrell, he is, uh, he is the genuine article. He, um, mm. He's funny. He's a funny man. And uh, he improvises, and he's very gracious, too. Like, he lets you be funny. It's not all about him, so it's, he's a great person to work with. 100. Nice. Um, 100. Uh, we also have a friend, Jake and I have a friend, Steve Berg. Six? Who uh, is, he does bits with us, he's an actor, yeah, and, doesn't make and any he's sense. very yeah. funny. Huh? He's just naturally funny, his That's presence really is funny. So, he's a funny uh, human being. He's a funny human being. So, he's in tag, uh, Steve Berg. Okay. You'll see him, he plays the bartender. In six. It. Yeah. So I love other, and there's just a bunch of people I've, worked, yeah. I've had the honor and privilege to work funny. with. with are hilarious, but I, right off the top of my head, gut shot. We have a sick so it looks like Nolasco, bluffed with the ace-10, uh, got called by Hudson. He makes a hero the call there, wins a big pot with two jacks. 7-4 the <laughs> one <laughs> sense to me. I had no, to point no. that out. <laughs> yeah, 7-4 would have been nice. Right, yeah. mm -hmm. um, but not to kiss his butt, but nobody's funnier than Rob Riggle. Oh, no way. That's the truth. He is That's good. Sweet. I'll straddle this. Mm. Straddle? Straddle. You gotta throw a five in here, Big Daddy. Straddle. I'll give you this one. 
you strapped? Now it's time yeah. for what I'm going to call a bad beat break, where we sit here and we whine about our worst Sunny bad beat stories while you at home are spared from our belly. Over here. And I was DOA, man. I was so DOA. <laughs> Welcome back to the Guards Casino and Poker Night Live Hollywood Home Game. I'm Tiffany Michelle. And Hi. right now, we have an all in hand with Amari and Jake. Jake has ace, king. Amari has king, queen. Amari flopped two pair. Wow. And Jake is shipping some of my chips that were compliments of you, Oliver, to Amari. So it's just a big family donation thing. Yeah. That's usually how it works in a poker game. Right? Yeah, right? Okay, 245, 245. So as you can see there, Amari so not had top two on that flop, and it was top, top for Jake. Wow. I like that. No good there. So Amari will rake in a nice big pot. Take the 45 bucks and go away. I would have been, I would have been thrilled yeah, with an ace king. I would have been thrilled yeah, with 45. Yeah, yeah. When he called in a king king, I'm like, I might be cracked, but I'll throw 100. He goes on top. I'm not running. Right. So how good are you? <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Did you live in Vegas for a while? I spend my summers in Vegas for the World Series, so it feels like a second home, oh um, like three months out of the year. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I was born and raised here, which yeah. most people migrate to Los Angeles. You tell them about your cooking skills? Or the, oh, I'm sorry, why has everyone got to out my worst, well, like we were doing with Oliver? I was on a little television show with Bobby Flay called The go. Worst Cooks in America. Uh -huh. <laughs> because, show uh, on clip. Show on clip. Show on clip. <laughs> my mother is a chef, and I had never cooked anything a day in my life, because when you have a family member who's an amazing cook, you never have the need to make anything. And so I got invited to participate in a uh, eight-week boot camp with Bobby Flay. And I, I was the top three least worst of his 16 <laughs> worst. <laughs> 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 the worst of the worst. Yeah. Six <laughs> poker. Well, lots of fun hands here going to the flop. Five ways. I think it's getting really gambly now. This is a wow. time of night where everyone's like, okay, how much more time Haley do we have? We got to. Because I bet so infrequently. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. It does make me want to. So Haley bets more? his queen yeah, on the flop. Gets called by Rob Riggle. Queen four turns a jack. Goes bet call again. Deuce on the river. It's been sitting there, and half of them are poker. Really? Wow. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh my god, I remember this and Doyle's book. And I used to, and and Harrington's book. I, I that was my I favorite. Know. Harrington's. It's one of the best ones. Yeah. You did a yeah, and I was like flipping through them and on, on, come on, yeah. and exactly. So Haley bets again on the river and it's Riggle finds a fold. Good fold. <laughs> right now. Repetition. Oh, that would I you think drive you insane you playing the poker. Yeah. And go, you had it. Oh, you're flying. Oh, you're betting. You're raising. Right. You're raising. You're raising. You're like annoyed. 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 Oh, attracted. <laughs> that was the thing about Meisner technique. Yeah. Is in the class that I was in, the, the teacher Sandy Marshall always brought in a bunch of good-looking people, yeah. and so Meisner technique is repetition where you have to say what you feel, and it always ended up with, like, attracted to you. <laughs> or someone <laughs> every, every time. The and yeah, then all of, so sudden, funny. all of a sudden, it went from attraction to, like, hate you. I mean, it was so, it was so contrived. <laughs> Oliver, you were mentioning during the break that you have a daughter named Rio. I do. Does that have anything to do with the bad, bad beat you took at the 2005 World Series of Poker? And was, it was at the Rio, right? The name of the hotel. Is, that, is it the World Series? Deep. These scars run deep. I am changing my story from now on. That this is She's one. named yeah, after. So I, can, so, I can read, so I can just fix, fix that It's that purple memory. rainbow we won. No, you went to Brazil. You know, right off That's the right. On a honeymoon. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That's how it happened. Well, it's a family flop to the family pot to the flop. Jack 5-8. 15. Okay. Jake, Got you played Bigger Jesus Jack. Christ in a very Harold and Kumar 3D Christmas. Fans would like to know how you prepared for that role. That's a deep pull. That is a deep track. Um, how did I prepare for that one? Gareth Reynolds. The stand-up comedian, he's on the podcast, The Dollop. 30. He got me that job, and we were in Detroit together, and we had a lot of cocktails. 
<laughs> in one of those days, they put a beard on me and I played Jesus. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, put a beard on you and called you Jesus. <laughs> that was how it happens. It was a short one. I think it was a one-day job. Did you ever do Jesus Christ Superstar at any point? No. Before? You? Yes. Are you Seven, good? Uh, <laughs> I suddenly went. You know a lot of musicals. In high school. Yeah. yeah. What was your favorite musical? What was your best role? Jesus Christ Superstar was pretty fun, but my favorite show to be a part of was Pippin because my really good friend was the 45. head in the box. 45? It's this trick where he's in a, you know, there's a hole and he's there, and he never bothered to learn his lines. So <laughs> during the performances, the performances, the head would, he had his lines in the oh, box, me. and the head would kind of sink down and look at his lines <laughs> <laughs> and the script, and the, the so good. totally shot. I love so that. good. <laughs> <laughs> I have a five. Ah, oh, you bastard. What? Bigger Jack. What? I knew everything that was happening and didn't even care what? to think about it. So Tiffany rakes that one in with three fives. Oh, Oops. Never thank mind. You. That oh, wait, I forgot to tip you. That's really thank good. You. That's a good one. Oh my gosh. You imagine the poor fool in high school who was auditioning against you? <laughs> you imagine that I wasn't anxiety? Good at musicals. Oh, that I, yeah. It was a small school, so we just kind of. <laughs> they were like, you know, do you want to do it? Yeah, we, did a, we did a thing of Damn Yankees, and I'm very glad there's no, uh, no VHS of that anywhere. Because <laughs> there's one where the, everybody was trying to take themselves out of the opening number. So the opening number is supposed to be the full chorus sitting on bleachers and everything. There's like three yeah. people on stage. Everybody <laughs> else is in the wings. And having to, and the, the, the director is like, well, can you guys at least sing from the wings to like pick it up? So it's like three of the freshmen like sitting oh up there. With the entire cast that didn't want to show up for those rehearsals. That's amazing. <laughs> Two kings for Tiffany Michelle. Oh. Man, it was fun. Rob, would you be inclined after this experience tonight to have a home game? Yes, and as a matter these. of fact, I've, I've ordered a poker table. Oh, perfect. I do have and I'm waiting for 30. delivery. Nice. Oliver's so as as um, jonesing to be back on the, the vibe scene. Like so Tiffany's in the straddle here. We got a I am. Hudson has okay. made it 30. I'm coming with you. Oh. I'm just considering whether or not I went to raise. I haven't looked at my cards yet. And really? you can ask the booth. Talk to the guy in the I sky. I believe you, and I will just call you. Talk to the guy in the sky. But that's the whole thing. We can't hear the guy in the I sky, know, or else he he'd knows. be in my ear telling me. Now, now I got to look, and I told you that. Now I got to look. <gasps> that's a tell. That's Four, a tell. five, deuce. Hudson can obviously hit a three or an ace to take agree. the lead. <laughs> Tiffany's still ahead. So 30, still learning. 35. That's a tell. Oh. He's not sure what he's telling. I have a gut shot and an overcard. I have kings. <laughs> I check. Mm. Just a player does that every time. <gasps> Third part on the turn. Yes, Tiffany goes 40. Then yeah, we can break it. Know the truth. Yeah. You're going to check and see if I have a heart. So yeah. just, you're overloading no, those. Just, holy oh, holy Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jesus I said Christ. 40. Knock over yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Shaking hand out. I know. I don't lie. I did have a gut shot. I ate six. I believe you. You want a rabbit hunt? Yeah. Let's see if you'd gotten there. Oh, you had a six? Wait, no, you needed three, though. I need a three. Yeah. So Oliver does make the correct fold there on the turn. Would not have we're gotten there on the turn. We're closing in on the home turn. stretch, but we're not done yet. I'm going to win some of my money back, but it's like halfway around this table at this point. The Poker Night live action will return after this. Welcome back to the Gardens Casino and Poker Night Live. We are playing a Hollywood home game with Rob Riggle and new and old friends. Right now, the action is on Oliver Hudson, who's taken a, a last minute, uh, a real raise, push here I'm at the raise, last I'm minute. I'm raising every hand. Oh, oh dude, God. why did, did I didn't even touch it? <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Oliver. How about you cover it, though? You blamed, immediately blamed it on someone else. <laughs> it was like. I wasn't even close to your chips, man. Zero. So Hudson's made it 20 with uh, King 4 suited in Alaska. Two black eights there will make the call. Yeah, I can't do it with these. Any other cards I could do. <laughs> <laughs> Good Sweet please. Georgia Brown. Five ways to the flop, which is King 6 Trey. That's a victory song. 
Always. Always. <laughs> I feel like you just remembered how to start playing, Oliver. A little You're bit. You're like, it's a little rusty, a little this, and now 60. suddenly, oh, I remember how to do this. <laughs> Push everyone around. 50? Not 60. No, 50. My bad. You said 60? Oliver said goes pretty said, heavy here yeah, with the sure. king <laughs> four. He's going to run <laughs> into <laughs> Haley Joel's king nine <laughs> should he call. <laughs> I like when she English. said you said 60. English, it wasn't English. a question. You said 60. I don't know what I was like. You said 60. <laughs> However, now that <laughs> Nalasco's called, maybe Haley will fold a better king. He does, and that is the one way that Hudson can take control uh, of this I'm pot. Putting the bears on those wriggle picks on Sunday, or <laughs> did you, I, I do I, every once in a while. I do. I like the I team now, especially with that Trubinsky kid. Trubisky. Trubisky kid. No, 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 I like there's him. an M back there. Yeah. A little <laughs> when he went into the Gruden office, he was like, "Show me how you call that." You know what I was happy about? Like, no, like oh, is one that true? twenty-five is the turn. Like Gruden tape? Yeah, Not slowing down at all. That wasn't. That's incorrect. I'll tell you what I'm happy about. Um, is Chicago Bear great, and now Hall of Famer Brian Erlacher got into the Hall of Fame this year. Yeah, that's and I was right. stoked for him because yeah. he's a really good guy, and he was a great player. Yeah, 125. Mm. Yes. Good on a watercraft, I hear too. He's pretty good on a watercraft. Which, uh, yeah. Speaking yeah. of that, he happens to be in uh, Robert Hill's Ski Master Academy. So, oh, when what a we... bad. <laughs> that's just not a perfect. Professional transition. That's a professional transition. That's a professional transition. All right, I guess. What do I have here? One fifty. One fifty. I guess. Well, the Bears. Well, you know who's great. Who on the current team is great? I wasn't even going to mention. I wasn't going to mention Ski Master fifty. But Alaska's going to double the bet to two fifty. It's going to be really tough to figure this one out if your husband. He is a good man, and I'm happy. Yeah. You must have gotten a bunch of one of the other two stacks. Yeah, must be, must be awesome. When is. Iraq or Afghanistan? Uh, Iraq. So you race. Uh, and, yeah. And both. It's a very, very unconventional and strange line, but it might work because it looks incredibly yeah. strong. Like y'all, Oliver and Amari are talking about Erlacher. So here's what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that because I bluffed you, because I called your bluff that one time, mm -hmm. now you're you're doing something here where you, you have, I have a bigger king than I do. It's probably my guess. But it's not really my money, you know? Time. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but if I go all in and go out, like, can I still play? Or? Yeah. If, time, time. Uh, buying for more money, yeah. I'll spot you. Remember that, what is it, pair of tens? <laughs> All right, all in. Ooh, I like that that's all how that in. ended. All in. So Hudson essentially finds the right decision, although oh raising God. here, <laughs> he's going to probably get the eights to fold. How much Three, more is it? Four, probably about four fifty. Look at the red light goes right. on when you're all in. Four fifty on top. End of the night, right here. That is a nice bet. Well, Nolasco hasn't snap folded, so maybe he's Amadi, considering this. A Are you looking for your phone to phone a friend? No, I'm looking for my chips. Oh, snap. He's you have to wait, though. You have to wait. To, you can't. You have to wait. You can't pull up. You can't pull yeah. up. Your you have to wait. You're just all in for this right now. Um, so what is it? 450? 460. I'm in. Ooh. How I big's call. Your, I call. How, how big's call. your king? Wow, he makes the it's call. I have a small king. Oh, but yeah. now you got it's going to be a chop. It's chop? I have a small king. Flip your hands. Oh, shit. I got perfect. Ooh. Well, you guys both have boats. Ooh. Wow. King boat, though. Wow. King boat. King boat. King boat. So what is it? Wow. Oliver wins. You just have, you have threes and eights, I and Oliver king. has threes, threes and, king. and kings. So Oliver so wins. you got 460 more, so push me your chips. Yeah. Please. If you had had a king, you guys would have And caught. if your sound happens to cut out Which for a second, that just Oliver. means we've been censored Enough. for a curse word. Yeah, so yeah. nothing's wrong with your television set. Tell us about your... Tell us about your... Tell us about your... Tell us about your... That was really Tell good. us about your, uh, your new television show, Splitting Up Together. New television show, it's on right now as we speak, actually, on the East Coast. Please watch. Uh, it's uh, married... Well, actually, divorced couple who have three kids who now have to live together. That's it. That's all I get. They have no money, basically. They That's can't afford to sell the house. They're upside down on it. And they have to co-parent and navigate life as a divorced couple. But there might be an ember still burning. Of hope. Burning. Yeah. That's oh, great. Okay. Yeah. It sounds like... like... You know, it's interesting. Um, 
the, when I tell people what now you can, now you can take your now you can bring the chips out if you want. When I tell people what the show is about, there's so many. Uh, every uh, nine out of ten of them are like, you know, I am going through this. Right. No right. Going through this. I was gonna say it's a very relevant topic it is, to it the is. climate of mm. relationships. My wife has seen the show and she loves it. Good. Absolutely love and it. And you hate it, and that's fine. I, uh, as long as you invite me to Sherwood. I would. I was planning on watching it tonight. <laughs> I was planning on watching it tonight, but I'm here. Thank okay, you. perfect. Playing poker with you. I right, and, and your DVR doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, what Rob did was he came to play poker and invite you to live pimp it out. Oh, he did. That's right. That's what he was That's thinking. That's right. He was thinking. But instead Rob, of did you invite me? Watching did. At home. You did. I did. For real? Yes. Well, thank you, dude. Yes. Why didn't you text me or call me? We're actually friends. Like, <laughs> I didn't get a text. Well, I put you on the list. No, but I didn't get a text from Rob at like, like. I didn't uh, get one either. You know. I hey, texted man. him. I said, are you going to be there? <laughs> <laughs> Which I didn't know how to respond, because I was like, if I tell him yes, will he come? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> That's an amazing turn. <laughs> yeah, buddy, I'll be there. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, sorry, I'm out. But why did you well, text him? Yeah, you just were asking. Just pass. Mm. <laughs> Got to go. <laughs> you have to go all the trouble. Tiffany Jack 10 will raise. Sorry, we'll just call him. Yeah, five. Yeah, what did you think? You know, it was just complicated. He had. So you're for sure um, in. I thought it was <laughs> I told you I had a key. It's a bit to me? I mean, I know it's hard to believe in a poker yeah, game, but, but usually I'm a pretty Great. truthful when it comes to, like, I had playing that with, with, with a pair of eight. House Jake money. Johnson will make it 15 with and queen 10. Oh, that's Three. me. I'm sorry. Right. I got two pairs. That was a big hand. That was the yeah. hand of the night. That was, that was the hand of the night. It's okay. called by two oh, worse hands. The flop would go 9 five, five. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, now you got to go back, redo that one while we're in this throwaway <laughs> boring hand. <laughs> Yeah, they're going to move in and do coverage. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. Uh, check. Check. I, I keep... Check. Mm. I keep thinking one of these titans is, is playing behind me. They're just counting God, up I and racking so, up their shit. So much. So, Tiffany... Falter hand. Uh, I think she was straight. Also, our graphics sometimes are wrong, but we'll check. Are we in a commercial? No. Oh, oh we're, we're live? <laughs> yeah, this is a live show, <laughs> Oliver. No, yeah. I know. I thought because I'm just you wanted to make sure that straight. hand got, got shown. Like, oh, if no one's going to bet, I'll try <laughs> to steal it. <laughs> <laughs> we have to take one last break. We will be Thank back you. right Thank after you. this here on Poker Night Live. everyone that's it for our show tonight i would like to thank all of our guests thank you guys so much this is why thank i you. love poker because winning money is fun but it's just a little more fun when you beat people you really like right that's right i would like to remind everyone about the big slick celebrity weekend coming up june 1st and 2nd in kansas city even if you can't make it in person please support this beautiful cause which is very close to rob wriggle's heart by donating at bigslickkc.org that is it for us here on CBS Sports, but the fun never ends here at the Gardens Casino. You can play poker here 24-7 and watch our live stream games, which I host on Thursdays and Fridays at 5 p.m. Pacific. Head to GardensPokerNight.com for upcoming lineups and watch at twitch.tv slash PokerNightTV. Coming up next Tuesday on Poker Night Live, Joe Stapleton returns to host a table filled with some of the hardest working actors in Hollywood, featuring Sex and the City's Willie Garson from Cougar Town Ian Gomez, from the practice Cameron Mannheim from Mom Beth Hall and poker pro Liv Burry. And while we're away, start your morning right with a healthy serving of sports. From recapping last night's action to breaking down the top stories of the day, the boys have you covered. Catch Boomer and Geo weekday morning starting at 6 Eastern right here on CBS Sports. For Jesse Abramowitz and everyone at Poker Night Live, I'm Tiffany Michelle saying good night and thank you for watching. We all had a great time, didn't we? Yeah, 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 it was super fun. Nice job.